Hey everybody, we're back once again doing some more World War II stuff here. Uh, we got some dynamic recon ops. I wanted to try out the uh, Northern Fronts map here. Hopefully we get some more action here. We have two construct barricades today. Um, that's what it's given us. We'll actually construct a fortification and then a barricade, so hopefully not another fence. All dressed up here. I'm rocking the M1 carbine. Uh, before, if it didn't make it clear, the mod was through the uh, IFA 3. Iron Fronts 3, uh, and then the map was IFA also, IFA, IO Light, or something like that. Uh, I know that this is going to be the Northern Fronts map, though. Let's try to get the guys here up on this uh, vehicle, and we'll uh, get get going here. Is it not gonna... Alright, Gunner, turn him back. How do I... Is there already a guy in there? His driver? No, there's not. Alright, hop in a Gunner. Uh, passenger... And I let me in. Close hatches. Close hatches. There we go. Well, open hatches. If I get some distance from it. Well, I guess, I guess I guess we're not using the vehicle asset today. So let's just just move on out here. We got a submachine gunner. Grenadier, private first class, private and whatnot. So, start making our way uh, down there. Hmm. Oh, we got all the very loud arm and music coming down here. I just can actually see these dudes here. I think next time I might uh, do what I do for most videos and uh, tweak around some settings. Um, usually I have Shack Tech and I have that disabled by default so you wouldn't see the stuff on the bottom here when it comes to controlling them um, and setting up squads and all that. Uh, and then like the little, you know, hexagons or whatever for the dudes. Alright, let's construct a barricade. Uh, fortifications? Constructive barricade. That's what we're doing here. I mean, it's a lot easier, a lot faster than the other one. But I think it's because there's multiple. Yeah, there's multiple of these things. Well, fortification was just one giant thing to put down. So hopefully we put down this, and then we're gonna defend a little bit. I don't know. Dynamic recon ops. It, it, some of those things where it could get really dynamic and just make a giant turn, or it could just stay in like the same place. So I know these guys are kind of like off doing their own thing. They're all kind of like in a wedge formation. I wish they would kind of be more um, smart. I think that's the problem is when you have the AI clunked up in a squad, they're, they're really just um, like wedging it and whatnot. They're not really being that dynamic, so to say, with uh, the environment and taking cover. So I, I think that's the one thing I've always hated uh, when it comes to like using the AI compared to real peoples. So... It's like, do you want a better shot, or do you want, you know, do you want the actual uh, experience here? So we're all constructed. It's up. We're showing enemy incoming enemy position. Good thing. Uh, got that op set up in time. Let's see. I don't know what direction these guys are going to be heading in, but take cover and defend the op. You guys, uh, you guys come here often? What you looking at? What you looking at there? Some machine gunner. Who is this? What number are you? Two? Scott? I'm looking at you, dude. Let's see where these guys are going to come from. Let's uh, change it here to defend this objective. I don't know where they're going to be coming from. We'll keep an eye out here. Let me also mess around with my uh, video settings a little bit. Got everything ultra, ultra... Low visibility is all the way up. So yeah, it's gonna do it here for uh, that. So oh, I kind of there we go. Messed with where my game was positioned. And that was where the one person is like, "Why do you play in window mode?" Be like, "Well, because uh, I want to tab out." And so <laughs> that's really it. When you do it in full screen, it's all weird. where we get shot at. This way, right? You guys are shooting the sheeps. Welcome back. Come on, that's the spirit. 
Get the Warlock. I think that guy was running around without a uh, gun. I can't tell. Let's reload real quick. Drop that guy. Make sure he's having a rough day. There's a whole squad of there's a maybe a platoon of those guys coming up here now. So we pretty much defended this spot right here pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and construct a barricade. Looks like there's a good bit of dudes there still alive. Let's go up there and uh, finish them off. So I don't think they'll be running away anytime soon. But let's get moving up here. I know the objective is about 100 meters right there actually. It's not that far away. And that would be a great time actually to... Uh, Flare pistol? Yeah, I think not. Middle of the day. Good to switch out a, a weapon or whatnot. So I made the joke a bunch of times uh, when I was doing World War II stuff. My my immerse, immersion weapon, my immersive weapon. I uh, didn't want to lose out there for... Uh, see the boyos up there. Are you actually carrying that? Okay, that's actually really cool. Um, <laughs> oh no, but nah. Sorry, I'm gonna. Ah, oh, dang. See, hold space to provide medical care. Yes, I'm gonna be nice to you. Give me a second. So this is something cool with that um, that one mod I have on here. I can't remember the name of it. It's on the workshop right now. It's trending, but it, it reworks the whole medical system. Um, ah, what's going on? Did I, did I save his life? He's still in pain. A couple of these guys are in pain. You know that guy's German binox. What the heck? Where's he? At? That guy's on the ground suffering. Now imagine this mod, but add bloodlust. You guys have seen it, but oh shit. There we go. You guys know what Bloodlust does. So, are you going to execute him on the ground? Oh my goodness. What in the world? And, of course, this guy right here. Oh, he, he's, I think he's dead. Yeah, his eyes are, eyes are shut. These guys are all pretty much dunzos here. This guy's outfit, though. No, I didn't want to take his binoculars. This guy's outfit. Officer. Huh. I wonder if they can actually get their helmet shot off. I'm very curious about that one. Keep moving out here. I know there's a couple guys here in these uh, in these fences here. Hear hear more sounds. Probably up over here. Yeah, a bunch of bunch of officers they threw a whole bunch of guys at us, and we wiped them out. I think those are just my guys talking here. Is that it? We good guys? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's uh, let's move out. Dude's crawling, I don't know why. No support this time. So we're just going to keep on uh, moving out. I have no idea what that medic's doing. 
usually I play with VCOM AI, so they're just a little bit smarter, you know, without having to uh, tweak them and whatnot. So this right here, what in the world? Are we going to put up another uh, another fence, another wall? We're going to build in a wall? I think I know who's requesting this. If we are, though. Okay, make sure I didn't break away from it. But this should be everything here at the fortifications, unlike with the uh, the barricades being multiple ones. Yep, we, we built a little wall. Construct a barricade. It's a nice one, too. Look at it. It's kind of just... Uh, just a little inefficient, in my opinion. And extract. Which it wants us to uh, extract out of the area again. So that's going to do it here for another dynamic recon op. I'm not going to, you know, walk the entire way and extract like we did last time. I know we'll probably get hit by a couple guys, but uh, that's pretty much the bulk of the action here. Next time, I think I'll disable this construct and only turn on, like, clear area or stuff like that. Combat ops usually have more stuff going on with them, but the problem is I can't find any for World War II, so I don't know. Uh, or at least with the World War II terrains. I, I really do enjoy these terrains and how they look. Um, so, I don't know, everybody. Um, that is uh, going to do it here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, until next time, peace out.